couldn't hear these two over here, look. Hello. They're definitely on the beers, aren't they? I wonder if there's any beer in the beer kegs. Or are they just empty? Look at the one next door. It's called the Cock Inn. <laughs> oh, kicking off. Someone is being manhandled there. Look at that, look. Welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side, and I am here in Blackpool. The bright lights of Blackpool. Look at this behind me. We've got the illuminations on. Check out the tower there. Look at that there. Doesn't it look absolutely awesome? I'm just on North Promenade. In fact, I'm just looking down here on Middle Walk. Yes, Middle Walk. I've talked about it a few times on the channel. It's actually closed off. So just behind me, we've got one of these walkways here. It's like a ramp that goes down to Middle Walk. And it's all been fenced off. The whole, all of these walkways here, all the way from pretty much where the Metropole is, right up to Gin Square, you can't get down to Middle Walk or Lower Walk. From, from here, you have to go either that way or right up to Gin Square to get down here, yeah. Or unless you go on the beach, that is. But anyway, uh, I've done a video on that so you can check it out. But in this video, I want to uh, take a little look around Blackpool. I want to go down the back street here. I want to go through the Pride Village, Dixon Road, because I've not been down there for a while. We'll check out the town centre. It's been a really warm day today, by the way. How busy is Blackpool going to be? On a Friday night, one of the warmest days of the year, I'd say, as well. Yeah, so we're now looking down on Middle Walk, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's, there's fencing all the way along there. I did do a video on it a few weeks ago, if you want to check it out, where they've closed all these uh, colonnades off for safety reasons. I think that, uh, well, it's getting on for 100 years old, and there's not been really a whole lot of maintenance to it, so it's probably all falling down. So as I turn around this way, we can see here we've got this, um, it's like the like curve, there's five, there's five of them all together, five. Five of these like curve sections and, and this down here is where the, where the ramp is. Down there, I don't know if you can see it, but it goes down, down to, down to Middle Walk. But anyway, I'm going to be heading across the road. Look at the tower, doesn't it look awesome? You see the big wheel as well? So I'm just across the road from Lansdowne Crescent. I think that's around about 1875 when this was built. We've got the Tiffany's Hotel there in pink. <laughs> Wait for this tram to go. Oh, that tram is absolutely stuffed, by the way. <laughs> Loads of people on the tram. Uh, that's the Claremont over there. So that, that's Lansdowne Crescent, yeah. yeah. It used to be probably like posh flats or something in the olden days when it was first built, and now it's big hotels. Okay, so here we go. Here's a look the other way. Look at that there, look. I think the illuminations along there look pretty smart, yeah. And there are some areas of the illuminations that look a little bit, uh, well, a little bit plain. That's the best Western hotel. Has anyone stayed there, by the way? It looks very orange on my screen. I think I've got the white balance up turned up too much. Let's see if I can change the white balance while I'm recording. Let's see if we can cool it down a bit. I've just dialed down the white balance a little bit. Should, shouldn't look quite as orange now. So I'm now at this junction here. We've got a mini roundabout. I think there's a couple over there having a bit of a domestic. A couple of beer monsters. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're definitely on the beers, empty. they? But well, this is Dixon Road. It's quite a long road, actually. Yeah, it goes all the way to Gin Square. And I'm going to be heading down this way, right into the town centre. So we'll go around the back of these hotels here. You know, the back of these hotels doesn't look too bad compared to some. You know, there are some hotels that look terrible around the back, you know. But these ones, they look all right. You know, they're all nicely painted. The Claremont and the Tiffany's. Can you hear these two over here? Look. Hello. Yeah? Is there anything to eat down here? Anything to eat? You have to go, not so much on this bit, you have to go right down about half a mile. There's loads of takeaways. Yeah? 
but it's a bit of a walk. It's probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes walk that way before you get to any takeaways. Yeah? There might be a Chinese down here, though. Down here? I think there's a Chinese down there on the right-hand side, probably right. about a few minutes away, yeah? All right, thank you. Okay. Well, that couple over there, it sounds a bit like they're kicking off. But I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just the way they are. This is the back of the Tiffany's. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad around here, around the back. But like I say, there are some hotels on the promenade which look terrible around the back. There's one, oh, that's a Tiffany's. It's got scaffolding up there, look. I wonder if they're painting it. And then we've also got the, an, uh, an empty hotel. There's an empty hotel, the Parisian. That's one of them, I think, down there. Yeah, that's been empty for ages. So we'll just head past this place, Horizon. This is an alcohol, drugs and sexual health support, this place here. It's after quite a nice old building that, you know. If you look up there, there, there's a round window. Let's look through the round window, shall we? Dixon Road, the old sign there with the tiles. Numbers 106 to 266, 500 yards. Yeah, it's quite a nice old building, isn't it, really? I wonder what it used to be. What's that there? Renaissance. A new dorm for substance misuse and sexual health services. Yeah. Just across the road from there, we've got some Quite nice looking hotels actually, Mayfair there, the Belvedere. So we're actually now, well, we're coming into the Pride Village. A lot of these hotels will be run by the gay community, I'm sure. We're just going past a garage here. It's just called the garage. We do, I think we do have more tours. Discount signs. Not sure if that place is open. This is Lulu's. Lulu's Hotel. This is definitely a gay hotel, isn't it? Yeah, lots of uh, lots of very colourful lights down here. We've got some beer cakes there. Look. I wonder if there's any beer in the beer kegs, or are they just empties? A couple of convenience stores here on each corner. Look, that's the best one. Shop locally. Oh, the cash machine's not uh, not lit up. Now I did a video, oh it must have been ages ago now, that cash machine there was lit up on a, The way it was lit up it was like as if it was to attract people to get their money out. Have you ever noticed on a lot of these convenience stores they always have stuff that's really bad for you plastered on the windows. We've got vapes there and we've got like loads of like fizzy drinks and loads of chocolate. I mean, the only thing that's good for you in here is the milk, isn't it? So we've got this church over the road. It's uh, one of two big churches along the... But it's now called the Claremont First Step Community Centre. It is a pretty big church. I wonder what it's like inside. I'll have to check it out. But anyway, we'll make our way along. Oop. Just going past Peekaboo's. Peekaboo's. Oh, it's banging in there. I've just nipped across the road to show you Peekaboo's. There you go. Is it a hotel as well? 
I don't know, it looks like a really big building. It's, I tell you, it must be a good place, that one. I know someone who sings in there sometimes. It does look really good. So, there you go, that's Peekaboo. Just down here, we've got the Duke. The Duke pub here. It's a Thwaites pub. It's got the Thwaites sign on it. Looks fancy, doesn't it, with the LED? And they've got some pretty serious looking um, picnic tables. Look at these picnic tables here. My goodness, look at the wood there. I'll tell you what, I don't think they need to, to uh, clamp these down, do they? Look at these picnic tables here. Wow. I'll tell you what, I bet they're heavy. Anyway, just across the road from the Duke of York is this massive uh, Afro-Caribbean superstore. Look at that, Vicky's. It's just like a big supermarket, isn't it? Might have a look in there sometime. See what the food's like, what do you reckon? Just over here we've got another church. There's another church there, look. Again, I don't know what the name of that one is. Not quite as big as the other one. We've got another convenience store here that's uh, got boarded up windows on this side. Some of these shops, they do look a bit derelict, don't they? But key cutting. I think that one is open. We've got a barber's there. That looks new, that barber's. Sam's Fish and Chips. Dixon Road Self Storage. I was wondering where you go to, to get in there. You must have to go around the back. But anyway, I'll tell you what, it is pretty busy on this road, you know. Yeah, it's really busy. But we'll just check out these hotels over here. We've got this one here called the, the Molly House. The Molly House. I'll tell you what, they look really nice, these hotels. You know, look at this, yeah, look. Look at the entrance to that hotel. Doesn't it look fancy? Now that is what you call a very well presented hotel. No vacancies, so they must be pretty popular. Next to that we've got the Trenton. Just over here we've got the Hayward. Newbury. Doesn't look open that place. The Valentine Lodge. Okay, we've got some nice, nice plants and flowers in the, in the front. Same with the one next door as well. Look at this, look. Quite fancy, aren't they? Just here we've got the Cuban Bar. We're right in the middle of the Pride Brothers now in Blackpool. That's the Cuban bar. We've got another convenience store next door to that, which is obviously closed. And then we've got another hotel called the Tropics Beach Hotel. And uh, look at the one next door. It's called the Cock Inn. <laughs> and just here on the corner, we've got Man Bar. This is Man Bar. So we're now up to this busy junction, which is called Springfield Road. And as you can see, you know where we are now, don't you? Because you can see funny girls. There you go. Well, I'll just turn around and I'll just show you. Just over here, we've got Gin and Barrett. And there's Man Bar on the corner. Got some beer monsters over the road arguing. It sounds like they're arguing. I'm just going to head across the road. Stay away from them. Got a load of takeaways now. Loads of takeaways along here. Got a kebab hut. Plenty of beer monsters around here now. We're just off camera. Let's have a little look at Funny Girls, shall we? From the front, check this out. Look at this. It's impressive, isn't it? Another really good entertainment place here in Blackpool. 
Funny Girls. And it was 30 years old this year, yeah, Funny Girls. It started on Queen Street, where the walkabout is now. That's where it started. And uh, it moved here. I don't know how long it's been here for. That's the old Odin Cinema, by the way. Used to be the Odin. Who remembers the Odin? We're just going past this place now. It's called Pinkies. Pinkies. Get out. This looks interesting, this shop here, look. Smoking girls. Interesting. Some interesting stuff in that shop there. Just over there they've got the catch. And now we are up to, we are up to, The tram stop and the Holiday Inn Hotel just over here. Let's have a little look. There's no trams there. They've stopped the trams coming down here after 7 p.m. What a disaster. Look at this. Look, there will no be no trams in here after 7 p.m. Is that going to be every day? You won't be able to get a tram from here after 7 p.m. Yeah, no trams at the North Station tram stop after 7pm. I don't know if that's permanent. Is it every day? If anyone knows, put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. But uh, I was talking to someone the other night about the, the new tram system. And uh, he reckons it's just one big massive white elephant. He said, yeah. So he's not impressed with it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Almost got taken out by a guy on a scooter there. The way that some of these people ride the scooters and their e-bikes is they just ride along and they ride straight past you and you can't even hear them coming. Here's another one here, look. This has got a light on that one. So we're now up to Mark Kelly's. And as usual, we've got someone sat outside. Who's got someone sat outside? I'm sorry, pal. Just sound quite lively in there. So we're now on the Talbot Road. I'm going to head down to the promenade. How are you doing? You okay? Oh, I just got uh, collared there by some fans of the channel from Scotland. I didn't get the names, but uh, I was just talking to them for a little while. Someone's out for the car. Busy now, there's lots of music going on. Hemp party, by the look of it. I'm making my way down Talbot Road. I'm just going past uh, Heron Food, which I've never been in Heron Food. I'm going to head right down to. I'm going to head down to the promenade. I won't go on Queen Street in this video. We'll just head straight down here. It's a big little fella, isn't he? Look at him. Reminds me of that guy that used to drive the train at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, a little dwarf fella. He drove the train for years. That's a Victoria. It's always quite lively in there. Oh, we can see Blackpool Tower as well. Look at that. Coffee Americano on the corner. That's pretty popular. You know, when that place opened, they got the Prime Minister, was it the Prime Minister? Of Northern Cyprus to, to help open it. Looks quite fancy, I'll have to go in sometime, won't I? We're just going past the station. There you go, you can definitely hear music going off all over the place. Just over there is, uh, oh my goodness, what a, what a racket. Big Cat Sports Bar. And next to that is El Dorado. I'm not sure if it's part of the same, is it the same place? I don't know. Got Blackpool e-bike hire there. If you want an e-bike, check them out. 
This building here, that's quite an old building. Like a walking centre, or it was a walking centre. We're just going past uh, the old church here. Sacred Heart. Yeah, it's getting quite lively now as we come into Talbot Square. This is the Little Black Pub. It's like an old Sunday school. It's yeah. worth a look if you come into Blackpool. It's really unique inside. They've got pews. You know, like pews. Yeah, it's quite lively as well. As you can tell, they've got some pretty loud music going on there. And now we've got the trilogy. This is the trilogy, of course. Friday night in Blackpool. Oh, it's kicking off. Someone is being manhandled there. Look at that, look. Someone being, someone's been ejected from somewhere. Kicking off in black. So there's no trams coming along here. Well, at night. Well, I wonder if the reason why they decided not to run trams after seven o'clock is because of the amount of trouble that it could cause. Yeah, and coming up here, going past all these beer monsters, uh, blocking traffic as well. Yeah. And also when they come off the promenade, just up here, you see when they come off, they come on the promenade, they're blocking the promenade. Well, they have to change the lights, don't they, for them. And, and that could, uh, could hold up the traffic as well. But I tell you what, it's banging here in Talbot Square. That's H2O. Absolutely banging in there. Down there we've got Pop World. That leads towards Queen Street. Pretty lively down there. This is the counting house. Loads of places to go out in Blackpool. Just down here we've got the little tram benches. Has anyone sat on the little tram benches? We've got a car over here which made a wrong turn onto the tram tracks and has now got onto the right bit of road. Because that's another thing, is it's so easy, I think, to turn onto the tram tracks, especially if you're coming from this direction. It's so easy to make a turn there and to turn onto the tram tracks. And if you get onto the tram tracks, well, I suppose you're just going to have to carry on and hope a tram isn't coming. <laughs> You can get out up there. <laughs> so, we're now in Talbot Square. I forgot to say what time it was. What time is it? About 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's just gone 10 o'clock and this is how it looks in Talbot Square. We've got the North Pier. Let's go, let's just head down here. We'll have a little look at the illumination, shall we? Now then, just look at that view now. Whoa. Well, they're not for everybody, these new LED illuminations. They're not quite the same as the old bulbs, are they? But these do look quite nice, these fan ones here, multicoloured. This is where all the money has been spent on the Blackpool illuminations. That was looking quite nice. Just here we've got Yates's. Shenanigans is quite busy. It'll be a lot busier tomorrow on Saturday night, I'm sure, but uh, it's, uh, it's pretty lively tonight and we've got some pretty good weather as well. Don't forget that there's a, a lap dancing club up there as well. It is pretty lively in Shenanigans, it always is. Let's have a look at the tower, shall we? Can you hear that behind me? The singing Sweet Caroline there outside shenanigans so there you go that was a friday night in blackpool we took a little look at the pride village which i haven't really been down for for a while just trying to make it a little bit gritty yeah. and we ended up going through the town center where it kicked off a little bit there kicked off a bit yeah we saw a few beer monsters as well um i haven't really seen too many beer monsters on my videos lately but uh, we saw a few tonight so uh, there you go, that's it for this video, I hope you like it, if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell 
for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one.